Hey guys, this is a very quick lesson on VPNs. So you've heard about VPN before, a virtual private network. So what is a VPN? What is a virtual private network? Basically guys, it means that your computer connects to another computer, all right, using the internet as your connection, and then you browse the rest of the internet through that computer. That's what a VPN is. So it's kind of like how you would hide yourself behind someone else. So depending on which connect, which computer you've connected to, all right, you will be protected insofar as that that computer will be visible, you will be invisible. Let's see what that actually looks like as a picture. So here you can see there is a, an illustration of a typical VPN. So there's you and then you are connected there in that cloud. That's the internet, okay? You have an encrypted connection from yourself via the internet to another server or another computer online and that is a virtual private network and that means you can then browse the internet without being tracked now you're probably thinking about all kinds of new ideas now but just have a look and see first why we have vpns here's another example so there is you there you are okay you have a what's called a tunnel Sometimes they call it a tunneling protocol, right? So it's a tunnel. It's just a connection. It's a connection between you and another server on the computer. But you are connected via an encrypted connection, okay? So everything that you type in, everything that you click on and send is encrypted, and it goes through to another computer, which then goes and does all the work online and gets everything and accesses your social media network and all that. So as an example, if you were accessing a server in Norway, okay, and you are browsing the internet from your computer via this computer in Norway, any website that you were looking at or ac actively engaging with, it would show that you were from Norway because that's where it would think you were coming from. That's what a virtual private network does. However, we also use virtual private networks for business reasons. You can actually just access your work computer from home using a VPN because it's an encrypted connection from your computer to your work computer. And that means that you have a private connection as if you were sitting in an office further down the hall and you were accessing your computer remotely. So that's also what a VPN is about. So I've just discussed what is a VPN used for. Well, here are some of the things we use VPNs for. An obvious one, and one that's been around for a lot longer than you think, is being able to access a business network while you are traveling. So I'll give an example. With my school, we have a virtual private network where we have certain drives on the computer, network drives on the main server at school. And actually on my computer from home, if I actually accessed the virtual private network correctly, I can see those drives as if I was at school in my classroom on the local network. That's the beauty of a virtual private network. Other guys use it for different reasons, bypassing uh, internet censorship, downloading files like movies or music, for example, accessing geo-blocked websites. Now, geo-blocked websites are basically sites located in other countries that are limited to people from that country only. As an example, try watching some of the BBC shows in uh, Great Britain and you will be blocked right away because you are not in Great Britain at that time. So we use a VPN and that allows us to connect to a computer system in the UK or anywhere, yeah, in the, anywhere in the UK. And then from there we access the BBC and you can then watch all your favorite BBC shows if you do stuff like that. You can also hide your browsing activity from your local network and ISP because you're no longer going and going onto Facebook or uh, WhatsApp or Instagram or all of these other sites. You're going via an encrypted connection. You're tunneling through to another server online. And from there, you're then accessing all the sites. And your local ISP will not be able to detect that. So don't get any ideas here. Just be aware of what a VPN is, what it's used for and how it works. The rest is up to you.